Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your daily news update from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets. Now, ahead of the US elections, the volatility has been going up strongly. The S&P 500 has its longest losing streak since the year 1980. And there are a lot of other signs, um, obviously, that um, traders and investors have taken some money off of the table and off and out of risk. Actually, the Italian and German bond yield deltas have gone to their highest level this year. If you look at the FANG stocks, that is Facebook, Amazon, um, Netflix and Google, their market capitalization has gone down a hundred billion dollars in that um, sell-off, in that selling streak on, on Wall Street. And if you look at empirical data, you find out that actually um, if the markets are going down ahead of the elections, the um, candidate of the other party, so that is Donald Trump, um, is getting a lift from that, is uh, profiting from weaker stocks. But if you look ahead, um, uh, if you look ahead of that smokescreen, actually media is planting into, um, yeah, is, is trying to communicate that um, an election would be bad no matter what or no matter who will be elected. Both candidates actually are willing and have been repeatedly saying that they want to start infrastructure programs. So that fits into the picture of what the G20 um, uh, ministers um, recently said in China when they met in China in uh, late summer. They said that they need or everybody needs, the world needs um, to have a coordinated fiscal response to that weakness in growth. And that fiscal response could be infrastructure investments. And they also said that there need to be investments in healthcare. And if you look at um, how the healthcare sector has fared um, within that um, uh, election, then we know that healthcare stocks drop by 20, 30, some even 40% uh, because of that um, election campaign rhetoric between Clinton and Donald Trump. So we know that Trump actually wants to wants to scrap Obamacare. Clinton wants to leave it, but not as is. She wants to change um, uh, some parts of Obamacare. So there is a lot of um, uncertainty about the final outcome for the healthcare sector. And so stocks have really gone down 40%. So th this sector is clearly the punching ball um, within that um, election campaign. But if we know who will be the next president of the United States might be that there is some relief rally in that sector because we all so know that there need to be a lot of investments in healthcare, a lot of investments on top of that in infrastructure. Now, if you look at the possibilities and as a trader, you need to prepare for different scenarios that might be an outcome of, of it. Um, the, the best outcome would be that actually um, there is a clear election result. So either it's Trump or Clinton. Obviously, markets are more inclined to say, OK, if Clinton wins the election, then it's uh, better for volatility and it's better for might be a relief rally coming. On the other hand, if Trump is going to be elected, we know that stocks have gone down meaningfully by now. And so the, the, the initial reaction might be negative, but um, there might also come a relief rally because markets exchange uncertainty um, with the certainty of who will be the president of the United States. So both outcomes might serve to, to dampen volatility and uh, give a trend back to the markets. But what would be really negative would be a um, a similar outcome of like um, what we had in the year 2000 between uh, George W. Bush and Al Gore. Um, that was an unclear um, election um, count. Uh, we, it took in the year 2000, it took until mid-December until we knew that George W. Bush obviously made it to the White House. And that would be a negative for the markets. They would be like... Uh, yeah, in, the, in that indecisive situation um, would be until mid-December. That would be really bad and let's hope that this is not going to um, come 
back in year 2000 that was recount over recount and the S&P 500 finally dropped by 8.4% back then. So let's see what will be the outcome. I'll be back tomorrow with another news update ahead of the elections.